Let's check in with Storm Team Meteorologist Michael Haynes for a thing, a closer look at weather happening here. Michael, we're used to the heat, but it's actually going to give you a little cooler today. That's right, Jen, not feeling bad for this time of the year, but we have to get there first. Now this morning, initially, uh, we're dealing with this match of the showers, a few thunderstorms. There's not a whole lot of lightning associated with this, so uh, just kind of some soaking downpours happening uh, right here along Interstate the 65 between Hoover down to Alabaster, uh, Pelham, this, this cell that just passed over you, continuing to press on off to the east, and now more wide spread rain, heavier rain crossing through Pickens and Tuscaloosa counties. This is not severe, but still, if you're out early this morning, it will be a bit of an inconvenience for you. So around Hillcrest High School uh, right right now, that rain moving through your area right now. Oak Grove around 527, a uh, western part of Jefferson County. Moundville around 530, uh, Utah around 534. But the severe weather outlook for today, mainly over South Alabama, where you see this darker green color that represents a lower end severe weather threat due to the possibility uh, for some gusty straight line wind, perhaps some borderline a large hail, but that's down farther to the south, closer to Montgomery. This is our future cast. We'll take you a, lot, a little bit farther here. Between now and 8 o'clock, these thunderstorms and, and the showers that we have ongoing will continue to drift a little bit farther to the south of I-20 by mid-morning, tapering down to showers, followed by improving weather for the remainder of the day into this evening. Now, we can't completely rule out a brief shower here later on today in central Alabama, but if you live in Clanton, farther to the south toward Montgomery, that's the area we'll watch carefully uh, for a few strong to severe thunderstorms. Bottom line today, uh, the farther south you go, the greater the threat for some strong storms this afternoon. Temperatures this morning starting out still warm. Uh, Birmingham in the lower to middle 70s, 73. Same thing Tuscaloosa. And it's in Oxford now at 72. But by this afternoon, check it out. We'll have highs holding in the mid to upper 80s under a mix of sun and clouds. So it's not exactly going to feel like fall, but significant heat relief compared to what we've had this past week. Looking live from cold now we're still wet with some showers moving through Coleman County, but for Rock to South later on this afternoon into tonight, looking much better than the conditions we had last evening with the temperatures holding in the 80s today. Uh, so we're kind of making up for that rough weather we had Friday, but looking uh, really nice for later on this evening. Thanks to this boundary uh, moving across the central and southern part of the state, and that will help to pull in uh, that slightly cooler and drier air from the north, and that will make it feel much nicer today with temperatures holding in the mid to upper 80s below average. Average, the average high for this time of the year at 91. So we'll run between around 85 to 88 in central Alabama. Now along and north of 278 in the lower to middle 80s. And during the day Sunday, we'll begin to warm back up just a bit, along with a very slight chance uh, for a brief shower Sunday afternoon. But heading back into next week, the heat will return uh, with, with highs soaring once again back into the middle 90s with morning lows holding in the low to middle 70s. Jen. Hey, Michael.